I probably shouldn't be recording right now because of a few reasons. Reason number one, I'm standing in front of a window, and there's a group of people walking by, and they think I'm recording them. And of course, it looks that way because the camera, you know what I'm saying, is facing that way, but it's not. It's actually flipped reverse. But, you know, how do you how do you explain that to a bunch of people walking down the street? Got the blinds open, so they're like, man, this dude is a creep. I'm really not. I tried to tell them to subscribe to my channel and they're still standing there. So we're gonna still get this video going. Reason number two is because I should be training. I just wrapped up a video on my IG story and on my IG. It gave you guys some motivation. And um, I started training right after, like 10 minutes after. Then I had this bright idea that I wanted to pick up the camera and talk to you guys. So hopefully y'all appreciate it. So for my efforts, I hope you guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you're new, please, you know, at least for my efforts of thinking of you guys, you know, even the brand new people, hit the subscribe button smash the like button turn on post notifications because we do provide late content and i'm not gonna keep you guys long so let's get on with my opinion regarding this whole covid 19 situation i'm only gonna do this video once hopefully <laughs> hopefully but you know we got the faith over here of course everyone has an opinion regarding this whole situation man let me back up a little bit Everyone have an opinion regarding this uh, situation, guys. Of course, you have you have some people who researched it. You have conspiracy theory theories theories. Okay. You have people who come up with their own notions. You have people who go off of the Bible. You have people that just go off of really just their own thoughts. And I wanted to come through and share mine real quick. So growing up, just like many of you guys out there. I was told that there was a Santa Claus. I don't, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you was told the same thing, but I'm sure a lot of y'all, I'm sure the majority of you guys can relate to me that, you know, you've been told that there was a Santa Claus and kids, if you're watching this, you may want to, um, you may want to bypass this part of the video because, um, I'm gonna give you guys some sad news. So, and I mean, it's unfortunate, but it's the truth. It's, it's the truth. But, um, so if you're a kid right now, please pause the video and either, fast forward this part it's probably going to be like three minutes i was told that it was a santa claus and i didn't find out till i was 16 that that was some uh -oh. arthur get out of the tape you're not my dad get out of the fucking tape i am your dad you're not my dad i am your dad get out of the fucking I'm in a tank hey. and you're not i will I'll <laughs> literally get out of the fucking I found out that Santa Claus was not real. And then I grew up and found out that a lot of what was brought to me, a lot of the information that was brought to me was not real. You know how it is in life as you uncover stones, um, you just start to see the world for what it is. You start to realize that there's some real here, there's some truth here, there's some uh, falsified information there. Everything isn't what it is, you know what I'm saying? If man wrote it, you can't always believe it. You know what I'm saying? You can't believe everything on Google. So fast forward to my opinion. Um, I refuse to just um, using that information. I refuse to just take any information given to me, whether it was by the news, whether it was from a book from today, the current now, right now or back in the day. I refuse to take any of that information and just believe all of it for face value. Now, people, of course, is going to bombard you with information. People are going to give you their opinions. People are going to, you know, just pretty much tell you like, man, if you don't believe this, if you don't believe what this book says, you're going to hell. If you don't believe what Google said, then we're all going to die. If you don't believe this, if you don't take the needle, if you don't this, that, and the third, then you're going to be SOL. SOL is S out of luck. So, I thank God for giving me my own mind. I thank God for teaching me things along my journey in life to, you know, he gives us, he gives us wisdom for a reason. He gives us our own individual mind for a reason. And everybody is entitled to their own. So I'm not knocking anybody. Because it could be some truth to some of whatever it is that they're saying. Which brings me to my point. There is a two-part response to my actual opinion regarding this. It's a two-part response. I'm going to leave out one of them, as I mentioned at first. But I would say the one that I'm not going to leave out is I'm not a gopher. I don't just take any information and just believe it, whether it came from the news, whether it came from a book of yesterday, whether it came from a book of today, whether the president himself said it, whether a very educated person regarding this whole epidemic, you know, said it. I don't take 
everything that everyone says for face value. People have ulterior motives out here. And um, when it comes to my personal opinion, I want to be able to give you guys a little bit of my personal opinion without giving you guys my opinion. Um, I would just, I'm going I'm to I'm put it to you like this. With Trump, where they would like to say we have a war on the actual virus without going in depth in terms of just, this is me giving my opinion. You know what I'm saying? We're stepping outside of just the, the part one of this and we're stepping into the opinion side of me. This is just my opinion. So when it comes to my opinion, what I will say is when they say that we are at war with the virus, I do believe that, of course, you know what I mean? We're battling against the virus, but the virus, the virus didn't create itself. And I don't believe that it was something that was produced by the environments. I don't think that it was placed here by itself. I don't think that it was a combustion of chemicals that created it. I think it was you know the vibe. Now, again, that's just my opinion. And I would be going against what I said in the beginning of it in terms of my first opinion about it. My first uh, thought, my first statement, which is everybody has their own perception of it. And we all could take the information how we want to take it. It would behoove me to tell you guys that my thought, my opinion is factual. I would be pretty much doing the same exact thing that everyone else does, which is you know, based on how I feel, you guys need to believe this. You know what I'm saying? We all are living individual lives. And I do believe that, you know, God gives us individual uh, wisdom for a reason. He graces us with our own individual personalities. He gives us unique gifts. We are unique individuals. We are unique in nature. So I do believe that whatever it is that he gifts you with, if you truly, if you fully tap into that, you know, nobody can tell you uh, that it's wrong. Uh -oh. be able to observe and filter things appropriate to the growth of your own personal life so um, i'm going to keep it brief guys that's pretty much my take on this whole situation um so i'll just stay away from the whole opinion side of it and just say if we all are impacted by it we all are affected by it um but some are affected by it more than others in terms of the people who are actually suffering from it people who have died from it my prayers and thoughts especially goes out to you guys who have been affected from it um in that way but of course to each and every one of us people have lost their jobs out here people are losing their jobs regarding the situation and we all really don't know how long it's going to take before we can actually get back into the swing of things when it comes to our nation when it comes to our economy so that's it guys that's my opinion those are my thoughts and i don't usually get dislikes on my videos um people actually love to watch my videos um but i'm you know of course because this is a controversial topic this is a controversial subject and people are strong strong when it comes to their opinions you know it's possible that i may get some i'm prepared you know it's possible that you know i may get some dislikes i hope not you know picture it as you know we're just sitting down breaking bread we're just having a conversation and you know it's not about you know, you not liking me just because I gave a different opinion than you. So hopefully you still support it. Hopefully you can at the very least smash the like button. But you know, if I don't get a like for my response, then you know, I understand. I understand that everybody has their own opinion. If you, if you had a video and your opinion was different than mine, as long as your opinion, your response is not aimed to tear anybody down, I'm going to click it. I'm going to click that like button. I'm going to support you. Just because it's hard right now, guys, like, don't let none of this distract you. You know, if you are not hurt, and I know I was going to wrap it up, but if you are not physically affected to where it's tearing you down, like, you're not actually dealing with it, or I get it, you know, if you have family that's impacted by it, or if, you know, you're just going through something totally different, I get it. You know what I mean? We all have to heal um, on our own, but you... You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about you. Like if you got food in your fridge, if you're in good health, if you have the opportunity to just think different, glass half full as opposed to half empty, I'm talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Like you came into 2020 with goals. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing? There's always going to be distractions. When you're dieting, there's always going to be somebody shoving a donut in your face. But it's up to you to eat it. That's simple. Do what brings life to you. And it's a great chance that you'll Bring life to whatever it is that you do. Getting back in the gym, my home gym, Push Up City, 
Holla at you guys next time. String Squad 100. Love y'all. Peace.